You've probably got a utility knife like this old faithful of mine and no matter how many times I put one of these down, it seems to go missing straight away. I've actually got three and filming this video I could only find one of them and that was just pure luck. So 3D printing a knife seems like a no brainer but should you? There are some types of knives that you shouldn't for sure. Depending where you are, specific types like flick blades, butterfly knives, karambits, even in some states of the US there's restrictions. So it's important to check what the laws are where you live. Normally the laws are around length of knife and if it's a locking mechanism. So I definitely didn't print this gravity knife and I definitely wouldn't be able to tell you that anything like this with a mechanism or parts that fit together, of course, you need to be sure that your printer is calibrated and getting accurate prints. Whatever you print, you want something that's not gonna fold back onto your fingers. This one is a neat print, but for a utility knife in the garage, it's a bit overkill. There's a lot to choose from if you search for a utility knife, but I did find this one when I was setting up a previous video on stopping corners lifting. And I did a few different prints to show how to avoid it. Link in the description, of course. The good thing about this print is that it uses a standard trapezoidal blade you can find anywhere. Once you fit it in, there's tabs that keep it safe while it's stored, as well as stopping it really well from coming out too far. It also uses hardly any filament, so it's super efficient, which I always like. I figured I've got a bunch of blades, so there's one here, one here, one here. Hopefully I'll now always have one handy when I need it. I can't stress enough, if you're gonna print a knife, make sure it's just for personal use, at home, in the garage, for craft, whatever you're gonna use it for. Use it responsibly. I'll see you next time.